guys, welcome back to AG Otter Family. I am so excited because today I am going to be opening everything that I got in the Chicago Place American Girl doll store. So let's get started. The first thing I got were these really cute blind bags. So they're a complete surprise and they're food items. And I'm pretty sure they're retired food items because some of them look really familiar from other American Girl sets. So this time I ended up getting this little, like thing of berries and a smooth the smoothie is from um but I do remember that the berries were in one of Leah's collection sets I'm they're probably not like from her actual set but I just remember that from like her like I don't know what it's called but they're super cute um the little basket is blue and they're blueberries. The blueberries do come out of the basket and they were individually packed. And then there was a little pamphlet thing that was super cute that showed you all of the things that you could end up getting. I got three of them. I only opened one on camera just because it was it took forever to open one of them and then we were trying to figure out what collections they were from so it was just a super long process. But I actually ended up getting the I think potato salad and chicken and then I actually ended up getting the um, pancake and syrup. The next thing I got were these really cute black pants from the Sweet Street collection. I absolutely love them and they're actually like a leather texture and they were really easy to get on the doll but they are like super tight and they when you sit your doll down they like lower so it goes below her butt um and i was really struggling with this hanger that was really frustrating but i thought it was super cute and because of how they packaged it there were creases on the knees as you can see and i'm still unable to get those out um it was kind of frustrating but it's super cute there's a little waistband of like just fabric so that you can get them on easier and the inside is like just a um like a smooth fabric. The next thing I got was Kira's comfy camping outfit. I have been wanting this outfit since she came out. So I was so excited to do this and I was having so much trouble opening boxes in this or this video. I'm so sorry guys but I absolutely love this collection set and I think it is so cute because of the um, yellow um, shirt <laughs> and I'm still struggling to open the box which is kind of sad so when I did finally get it open I was super excited because I haven't gotten a new outfit in a long time I feel like and I was just super excited so the first thing that I saw was the little jumper which I thought was so cute it was this really pretty purple color and then it had a light pink little like cord belt and it was a really cool texture and <laughs> I don't know what I was doing. I'm sorry. It was really wrinkled, but the wrinkles eventually did fall out. And then there was a little design on the top. And then here's the yellow shirt, which have little ruffles on the sleeves. I think it's super cute, and it can be paired with any type of pants. And it actually looks really good with the um, leather pants from the Sweet Street collection. And then is there is the headband. It took me so long to figure out, and I couldn't figure out why it wasn't working. And it ended up not fitting on my doll because her hair was too big. I don't know. And I'm sorry if you can hear stuff in the background. That's my family, and I'm up in my room. But um, the next thing were these sandals, and I absolutely loved them. The I was really obsessed with the bottom of them for some reason. I don't know. They just felt really nice to play with. And this was such a cute set. It was kind of expensive, but it was really cute. And then I got the Truly Me England accessories or something like that. Um, I was going to get an outfit, but they were really expensive, honestly. And I was spending my own money, so I didn't want to get it on something that would just be an outfit. I absolutely loved these, though, because they were super detailed. Um, although the little bag doesn't open like it opens but you can't store anything in it so that's kind of upsetting but the first thing that I got out was the bag and <laughs> I'm sorry guys it was in the hotel and I was exhausted because we had to walk a long way to the doll store but 
and I was getting really frustrated easily. <laughs> and here is the little suitcase purse thing. The only thing it can really hold are the little postcards and stickers that they gave you. The chocolates don't fit in it because it's not tall enough. But then here's the lid to the chocolates, and it says dark and milk chocolate. Comment down below if you guys like dark or milk chocolate. I like milk chocolate. I can't stand dark chocolate. And the chocolates were... And they were really detailed and sweet. And then I went ahead and got out the bottom of the box and put the lid on it because I thought it was really cute like that. And I did off camera try to put it in the box and it wouldn't go, which I was kind of sad about. But they're still really cute. And then the next thing are these really cute postcards. Um, I thought these were super sweet and I might even hang them in my doll's room somewhere because Emily is from England. And they're so, so cute. And then here are the stickers. I don't know what passport this is for. Like, is it... I don't know. Comment down below if you guys do know what passport it's for. Because it was saying these stickers were for the passport. I also ended up getting Kira's Wildlife Rescue Set. I have wanted this for such a long time, but it was $50, and I didn't really want to spend that money. But I decided to now because I wasn't sure when the next time I'd be at the doll store was, and if I would want to pay shipping for it. Um, I was so excited because I completely forgot that the wombat came with it. And that just made me so excited when I opened it up and it was the first thing. Um, this box is pretty easy to get open, if you're wondering, because of my struggles. And it was packaged really nicely. I wasn't able to figure out a camera angle for this, but I'm sorry. Um, so the first thing that was in the box was the wombat. It is super cute, super soft. It's going to be a great addition to the family as a pet. And then the next thing in the box was the blanket and the little bandage. The blanket is such a cute color. It's this light green with these little, like, just this little design on it. And it is super cute. It's really big, super soft. And I'm sorry if you can hear that. Oh, that's annoying. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> but it's super cute, and it's super soft, and it's perfect for the little wombat. And then here is the little, like, wrap thing. It's this light pink color, and it's got Velcro on one side so that you can wrap it around the leg as I'm trying to demonstrate. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Um, and then here is the walkie-talkie. The only thing I don't like about this walkie-talkie is that Kira's name is on it, which I don't have a Kira doll, so that's kind of weird. But it's super cute, so I just decided that I was going to keep it and not, like, give it away or something. It's this really cute yellow color, and the little um, screen is purple. And then I opened up the binoculars. They're such a cute pink color, like a really pretty, like, baby girl colored pink, and I love it so much. They are super cute, and I think Leah's really going to like them, because I used to have her black binoculars, but I can't find them anymore. And then the next thing in the box was, as I was trying to show you, um, the little carrier case. I don't remember what that was called, but it is pink on the bottom and orange on the top. It fits the wombat perfectly. I wasn't sure if it would fit any of the other animals, if I wanted to use it for any of the other animals. And I still haven't figured that out, but I'll let you guys know if it does. And then I had to take the box away to show you guys the little um, wagon because it was so big that I couldn't get it out without like knocking my camera over. And then I decided to take away the camera also to get the little carrier out and it's super cute it fits in the wagon perfectly and the wombat fits in it and on top of it um perfectly and then I'm super excited to tell you guys that I got a new doll I got truly me 85 and I'm so excited about her I was so sad that truly me 58 wasn't available because that's the one I originally wanted but I thought 85 was really cute and her hair was kind of a medium to short length so it was kind of like it but not really so she came with the friends book and then she came with the new outfit I already have the new outfit because I got Elise in the summer like last summer when they just came out but I'm okay with having the same outfit um she is so cute 
I absolutely love her. I'm pretty sure she has the Addy face mold. I was trying to figure that out. And it looks like the Addy face mold, but I'm not sure. So she's my first Addy face mold, and I'm so excited. Now, I wanted to let you guys know, the reason I didn't get a 35-year anniversary doll is because I already have two of the originals, and I want to get the whole collection of the original dolls instead of the 35-year anniversary dolls. She is so cute, and when I was taking off her um, leg protector things, I realized that she had a lot of, like, dust on her. So if you see me, like, wiping her face and stuff, that's why. So I was so excited to take her hair nut off, and I actually, in the store, had to take her um, out of the... Like, I took the box and opened it up because I didn't know if she had a hair knot on. Because her hair is, like, textured and curly, so it didn't look like she had one on. Her hair is super soft and super bouncy and curly. It's kind of like Waylon's, but it's super short. And it's just amazing. And when you touch the curls, they, like, boing. Which, my hair used to do that when I was younger. I am so excited to introduce her into the family. I wanted to let you guys know that her name is Olive Renee Green. Green because I am obsessed with the show Friends, and that's Rachel Green's last name. Olive because I've always loved that name for a doll, and I just haven't been able to use it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I absolutely love my new stuff, and please don't think that I'm trying to brag about this in any way. This is just to show you guys what I got. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe.